Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob, the stress and pain relief doctor, coming to you today from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm in the airport waiting for my next flight going to South Africa. This is my first time in Southern Africa. Actually, I'm in uh, Kenya right now, so um, I'm all the way east. Uh, very, very interesting. I was looking at the map because Kenya has, uh, uh, I think it's in Kenya, uh, there is this place called Lamu Islands. And so that, that I have looked at that. But one of the places that I, I eventually want to get to is Zanzibar. So I know they have uh, gorgeous beaches there. So um, uh, my travel tip for you today is to uh, figure out how to get your travel group on despite all the things that are going on in your life. One of the things that has surprised me is that I've had um, quite a few very, very successful people come up to me and they said, I want to do what you're doing. And I said, wait a minute, I want to do what you're doing. You're getting paid to travel. I met a guy on a Norwegian cruise. He's been on over 600 cruises and he's done over 10,000 performances in Las Vegas and all of them pay. And when he's on the cruise ship, he's staying in the, in, in, in the top, in the haven, and he's being calm. And he's selling merchandise in the back of the ship. I want to do that. I that's what I want to do. Meanwhile, these guys are telling me they want to do what I'm doing because I'm not on the clock because I can take a nap in the middle of the day. I was like, listen, I want to be like in that Jerry Maguire movie. We said, show me the money. <laughs> so here's the thing. It's not either or. It's not time or money. We want time and money. It's not money or love. We want love and money right? You want to be loved and you want to have dough, right? That's a good idea because uh, as um, uh, a, a, a friend told me years ago, he said money makes the world go round. I didn't quite understand when he said it at that time, the way he was saying it, but I get it now because, you know, uh, no, no matter where you are pretty much, um, and especially with the chaos that's going on in the world right now, um, uh, having different forms of money. And I just had the experience in uh, Buenos Aires where I couldn't change my American dollars into pesos because it was too dangerous to go to Casa de Cambio, right? They had banditos standing outside the store or they follow you back to your hotel. So everybody I talked to in Buenos Aires, they acknowledged that the crime situation is bad there. Also, the crime situation is bad in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. OK, they said if you take your cell phone out in public in, 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 um, in Rio, it's like begging to be robbed. Somebody's going to come up on a motor scooter, grab your phone. Uh, if you're in a restaurant using your phone, it's going to be a problem. And so the thing is that those are, are, uh, are uh, for me, not uh, good tourist experiences. Now, I have talked to quite a few people who despite the, 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 the street crime issue in a place like Rio de Janeiro, they love it. You know, they love the beach, they love Copacabana, they love Ipanema, and of course the food there, you know, you have feijoada and, and other kind of foods. But I don't like being places where, um, you know, where street crime is, is, is an issue. So even in New York right now, they have a problem in the subway where they're pushing people off the subway platform. I've never seen anything like that before. And so I do not take the New York City subways anymore. And recently they had two derailments. And why, once they did the investigation, why did the trains derail? Because somebody pulled the emergency cord as a prank. Right. So 54 people were injured. The train was stuck in the tunnel for three days. People, um, the number one, two, three, four trains were all affected. 
And so this is where we are. You know, we're in a world right now where there's a tremendous amount of negativity and chaos and uh, distraction and disruption. And so what I want to suggest to you is that you have to do whatever it takes to turn down the noise, whether it's getting a massage, going on vacation, um, reading a book, or just having that wonderful conversation you always <laughs> wanted to have with a, a friend you haven't seen in years or um, some relative you haven't seen in years. And that, that's what I've discovered many, many people um, when they get to the end of their lives, they're not thinking about, you know, I should have put in more overtime at the job. They're thinking about remembering the love, okay? And so um, that's most people. Now there are some people who are who are, who are vampire demons. <laughs> I'm just using that term because uh, these people are energy vampires. They live on the negative side. These are the people that enjoy seeing other people suffering. I was living in Florida, and I donated money to the uh, the church in Liberia so that the people there could have clean drinking water. And here's the thing, I was warned, they said, you know, there's people that are against what you're doing. And I said, this is not politics. We have babies dying in Monrovia, Liberia because they can't, the mothers can't lactate. They have no clean drinking water. So I said only a monster could be against have babies having clean drinking water. So this is not politics. This is humanitarian. And so um, this is what I'm talking about, the negative side. We have people that are monsters that are running things sometimes because to be against people having clean drinking water is unbelievable. And this is 2024. So fortunately, they were able to install 18 clean drinking water wells. So some of the people walk up to 25 miles each way just to get drinking water, carrying the water on their heads and barrels. That, that always amazed me how people could carry like a huge barrel um, while walking. But um, and the, the, the wells are on church property, so the water is free. It's not being sold. And so that's a good thing. So I want to remind you that when people, however small, are making progress forward, there, there, there are evil forces out here that, that seem to just want to always keep people on the thumb. And remember, part of keeping people on the thumb is to, 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 to try to suck the air out of your happiness. And so one of the things that you could do is make a list today, make a list of 10 things that you that make you happy and then decide that during the next six months, you're going to do those 10 things, right? Because there are people like you could be at work and you are happy and smiling, walking down the hallway and a guy coming the other way, he says, I'm going to wipe that smile off your face. That's what we're talking about. You're doing your job. You're doing a good job. They don't care. They don't want you to enjoy your life and have fun. Part of it is that many of these people are miserable. And so as the saying goes, misery loves company. When I've talked to other people, I've asked them, how come you're so miserable? How come you always on the negative side? And then they've come back with this answer. They said, well, I'm a curmudgeon. And I said, okay. I said, at least you know why. I said, you're an idiot. That's why. You're a nitwit. But basically what it is, their nervous system, they have a different, they have alternate wiring. So this is like the people in Rome that they used to love to see the people slaughtered in the Colosseum. They, they, the lion didn't eat for two weeks and then they put people out. And then I asked the people, did you ever think that that person being killed by the lion has a family, they have children? And the mob, they love it. It's called bloodlust, okay? So that's what's out here. So the thing is, what I want you to do is 
turn down the noise. There's a lot of noise all around. So when you turn down the noise, it gives your nervous system an opportunity to rest because we not only need sleep, we also need rest. So there's people that are sleep deprived and rest deprived. And so here's the thing. The device that I'm recording from is now the number one addictive thing worldwide. Why? Because all the studies show that when you text, when you email, when you're using the phone, and you, particularly when you're scrolling, it intermittently spikes dopamine. Dopamine is a, a very pleasurable neurotransmitter hormone. And so, um, you know, there have been studies uh, prior to the pandemic, which showed that 47% of people, this is a study inside the United States from SUNY Stony Brook, uh, I think it was in 2019, but it was showing that 47% of people were falling asleep with their phone. This is prior to the pandemic, and 10% of people were, had, were being admitted to um, a large uh, emergency room. I think it was Bellevue Hospital in Manhattan because they were distracted while using their phone. They fell into holes on the sidewalk. They got hit by the bus crossing the street because why? They're looking at their phone instead of paying attention. And so uh, if you think about it, uh, years ago, we did not have all this ADD and ADHD and um, the worst part about it is that the people from Silicon Valley, they do not allow their own children to use any of these devices that they created before they're the ages of 12 and 14. Why? Because they know the brain is growing very rapidly. And so if you put a smartphone, a tablet or computer in front of someone that's less than 12 years old, it changes their brain engrams. So those guys, so you can you can look it up for yourself on the internet. Look up a Wired Magazine article talking about Silicon Valley uh, uh, tech executives that they do not allow their own children to use no TV, no phone, no tablet, okay before 12 to 14 years old and so the consequences of people using the, these devices prior to 12 to 14 years old is devastating and so it will narrow your ability to concentrate and focus because here's the thing when you use um, the smartphone and you get a text or you're emailing or you're scrolling, if they hooked you up to a FMR, F, FMRI brain scan, what you find is that the same areas of the brain light up just like you're taking cocaine. So let me say that again. When you're using your smartphone, the same areas of the brain light up just like you were a cocaine addict. So you can do whatever you want with that information. So here's the thing. I'm traveling since February 2023 without a working smartphone. Why? Because my last three smartphones got hacked. Three different smartphones with three different phone numbers. They changed my password, right? So I couldn't get into my phone and I lost all my contacts. They changed my greeting so that when I came back from uh, Istanbul in Egypt, it said, Bob, I was in New York and calling people and it said, Bob from Cairo. And then the last straw was when I was, I went to Dominican Republic and I was using Verizon, the $10 a day international calling. And when I came back to New York, the, my SIM card was corrupted. The phone acted as if um, I was still outside the United States. So I said, that's it. So now I'm going to write a book. And the book is going to be called um, uh, something like uh, 
no more cell phone or cell phone free, smartphone free or something like that. Because here's the thing, the human race somehow managed to exist before the existence of smartphones. Think about that. People talk to each other. The other thing that I'm gonna write is, is that about analog being better than superior to digital. Think about it. When we had rotary phones, we used pen and paper. There wasn't all this hacking and all this scamming. I mean, there's so many scams. And, uh, you know, I, I was at the bank and it was, they're, they're saying, oh, the bank doesn't want people even to use checks anymore because they're saying the, the amount of scams they, they have. It's unbelievable out here. And this is all because they are pushing to make everything interconnected via the digital world. So you can do whatever you want with that information. I'm smartphone free. But I was joking is, is because, um, uh, because I'm single and I'm not uh, dating or anything like that because my wife passed away. So I'm, I'm still a man without female supervision because that I was at a party and someone said, said, Bob, if you start dating, you know, she's going to make you get a phone because she has to text you. We'll see about that. Until next time, from Stress Free Now podcast coming from Nairobi, Kenya, on a layover. I want to encourage you to dust off your passport. And if you don't have a passport, I want you to go get one. Um, uh, during the pandemic, um, I know when I was in Florida, the, the passport office in Miami was shut down. Uh, they, they had had a hurricane with some flooding. And uh, but so I understand now it's a little bit better. So whatever you have to do, um, and, and normally now you go through the post office. So do whatever it takes. They've increased their fees. And um, uh, but get your passport and get out there and see the world and try some foods that you never tried before and talk to people that you never talked to before. Experience different cultures. Remember, the brain likes novelty. It's fun. Until next time, be safe and be well.